is it's them versus Drake at the end of the day oh, because yes, you know sir. Sisto is tapped in with Drizzy Lord in the ear is going to be coming through. Beautiful Hamtaro shirt as well from Ben. Yeah, I love he that. got the wrist That's on. Game. He got the wrist on game too. That his right side be weighed down. That's probably how he pressed that B button. But early on, just drops down, tries to get himself a little bit of special action, and uh, Vin is actually the one getting that action in. And a lot of these opponents uh, today have faced Sisto just to warm up or whatever it may be in the past. So a lot of them know his tendencies. And right now, Vin seems like he's taking advantage of the fact that the tendency is uh, he likes to press this special button, as we were talking about earlier. Yeah, I, that's the first thing I noticed when I fought Sisto. The fire arrows were always a threat looming above me. I see the tag, a little shout out to young safes in the building. T.O. showing love for T.O. Yeah. And we're so thankful. These are the T.O.s that put in OT, man. Man, tell them some, bro. Down till into the up air. They're going to have a nice conversion for the time oh being. But gosh. not going to kill at this percent, though. Sisto keeping things very even here. Oh, but the bomb is going to come off of the night a little weird there, and that's going to send him into a bit of a flurry as he does start to get this bomb usage at the perfect time. Oh, that boy is sick nasty with it. Yeah, shoots a little headshot as well, so definitely see how Sisto is getting past a lot of his opponents just by racking up this damage, and he's going to walk straight at Vin and handle business and for the first stop. Even throw the bomb at him in vulnerable just to send the message like, this ain't going to hit, but it hit, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it hit. Oh, it definitely hit. It's a hit. And another thing that's crazy to watch is how Vin... Oh, oh that's not kindness. Oh, that's rude. That's rude. So definitely could see Sisto starting to put in some work at, on the extra credit stock, but wasn't able to get spiked down there by, by I believe, was the Knight. Now you can see Vin starting to cat catapult himself back into this game. Yeah, but that's the bread and the butter coming out from the young Link, starting to get a bit of meaningful damage in response to what Ben was able to brew up there. Start a stock two, double, Ooh! triple, ripple. This man is absolutely oh. non-stop with the arrows, just knows yeah. exactly what he wants to do. It, he also doesn't have like the Vin respect. You usually see a lot of these players come out with a little bit more respect for what Vin has been able to do, uh, similar to Hungrybox, right? Like you have like these crazy kicks and these crazy uh, upbees that can just Put your opponent in his place and take the win. And Sisto is not bringing any of that to this matchup. And Ben is starting to have a hard time getting the Phantom to come out. It's every time that, that is oh, being yeah, he's blocked on. Yeah, just such a great mind by Sisto to Ooh, use every tool at the his little disposal. brother down air. The little the brother down air. The fact that that knocks up is just so funny to <laughs> yeah. me all the time. I'm like, okay, well, I would just die then. I wanna... Rising back air, do it twice. Double, run it back. Run it back here and run it again. Man is getting acrobatic in the building. And now this is where Vin shuts it down, right? He wants to get his uh, big hit to come out so that he doesn't have to deal with all the extra credit that Sisto might be trying to place on right now. Showing me the full range of that tether Can there. Roll out? Can you roll on the fan? Yeah, I think he rolled into that F switch, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. But Absolutely. just all around, Sisto having a great fight here. But Great first showing in game. Remember one. what I was saying about the Jigglypuff claws, right? Like, you need this last stock for it to be a beautiful game. And yes, Sisto has taken us here against the Goat Vin, but can he finish this last one? Both of our fighters here getting a little campy into the third minute. Very hard to get campy against Sisto, man. The second you want to think to try, you get hit with a bone and arrow and then boomerang and then boom and then. And that's one thing I say about Sisto. The boom is one part, but the orang of his boomerang, the second coming of it, is just always a threat. And he's very good at moving his body to make sure that that does become something that will knock you on the way back. Finn's doing a great job of just evading everything, though. No, let's talk about it. I mean, if a thing doesn't hit him directly, he's shielding it. Oh, He's going to move with abundance right now. Does get hit a lot of times. Was Great. able to get away from that. Reads the roll though. Great mind by Sisto to watch out for that up air snaking underneath Pokemon oh my Stadium, God, he went falling for the kill with the down air, doing the King he Arthur. It hits for the, the fair for the kill. Sisto up 1-0. Going to be possibly a run back there from Ben, who felt like he had that within his clutches. But the young Link, the Traveler of Time, 
able to do the work that needs to be done. Yeah, Sisto does seem like he's from a different uh, time zone, man, I swear. <laughs> And, like, I never thought about, like, you know, how number one in Spain he was until he showed up in this outfit. He really looked like he just got off the plane from the World, World Cup, Cup. Yeah. you know, with the Spanish flag. Looks like he uh, coached a couple games. They didn't go his way. You know, like, soccer coach Sisto is a vibe. Look what the headset is over. <laughs> <laughs> what are we running, coach? Yo, ask him. No, yeah, I think they picked a uh, big battlefield there, so they're just going to restart here. But I do understand like where Vin is coming from with his play because you kind of want to play campy here, but I don't think he's able to get the knight out at all. So at the end of the day, he needs to find a little bit more close, uh, close quarters combat to go in his favor. Oh, there it is. He's starting to bring it out. The spot dodges by Vin have been absolutely yeah. so admirable throughout this set. Going to be on Sisto to start to switch up those timings so that Ven cannot be so wise to it. Always able to get a lot after it as well, but this time we're seeing Very Sisto crap. with the down throw. Nice and movement he's there. Extra, so he's putting together the combo to get as much as he can out of it. Uh, Vin, obviously knowing it, stops it a little early there, but you can see Sisto trying to pull every little bit of damage out of this, and he's not letting that knight live, man. If, if the bouncer is uh, the knight, then Sisto is VIP, man. He's getting past them with the wristband. Yeah, there is no conjuring of spectral spirits in this realm if Sisto's on it. Going to be very difficult for Ben to lean on Ooh. that offensive and defensive. Maneuver. Oh my god! Look at those switch ups! I love the down air, man. It just looks so clean. He's going like straight for Ben's head to look into the decapitate. And, and you know, young Sisto got to put on. But it's not Ben's head as well. He's just able to tag that foot so effectively, stopping what literally is. the toes on every possible scenario. And uh, a big clip comes out from Sisto to get the first stock, and we find ourselves uh, time to get a little bit more extra credit. A little bit of extra credit is due to Sisto. Been putting in that work and is now getting paid off in troves. 46% on that extra credit stock, but the Phantom trying to do something about it. The oh. Vince Flame going to follow him to the depths of Tartarus and pull yeah. him out. Down there, man. Down there. Straight abyss. But nonetheless, still putting in that big work. Sisto, a fan of the game Smash and one of our greatest TOs here for a long time. I just love to see a T.O. that's not playing Rob. <laughs> that's actually <laughs> facts, man. That was the biggest facts of the day so far. Yeah, no, and little, little, little Link. Shout out to my boy Little Link. He got locked up. Ooh. Oh. Shout out, shout out to the Link of the stream as well. Share that if you're watching because it's yeah. only getting hotter from here. We got some of the best talent in the Valley out here tonight and things heating up here in game two. Van getting approached on and getting fared. Yeah, up a little to the bit top. too far to the left of the screen, but nonetheless puts in the damage, sitting at 12 times 12 and uh, has to put in the work to get a little bit extra, but seems all but done here. Vin, though, has that little bit of rage, but it's gone, man. That's a perfect kill, perfect timing for Sisto there, and this one is not looking good for Vin. And Vin on the ropes here in winner's round three. That We're little Deku shield. Doing so amazing in the defensive. Nice, up he out of shield. Doing the up he out of shield and then so effectively into that back air time and time again. And then Sisto's not afraid to follow it up. Not after that, he's knowing exactly where he wants to bring it with the little fire arrow setups that he has. And he's just so patient, but so aggressive as well. It's a great metered aggression that he's pulling off flawlessly. And that's why we're seeing him try the championship rounds against number one seed in yeah. the valley. This is power rank one and cleaning okay. up the stock beautifully there yeah, once you, again. Using the flame there to get the kill is what you needed there because, I mean, this is tournament stock for Vin if he doesn't go crazy. I mean, he goes into the lower bracket, but this is not where he would want to be this early, especially with all the goats involved. Obviously, Sisto having to put in that last bit of damage to get the final stock, but... It's definitely seeming harder and harder every second. Ooh, it's not over until it's over. It's Ben showing some real prowess there with Scooped, that. Scooped, though. Nick going to be on Ben to find I mean, the he's stage all like now. At this point, bro. He's like one read off of death. Sisto knows it, and Sisto's frothing at the mouth in order to clean this oh up. Gosh. Gonna miss the fair there that has been so potent in cleaning up these stocks for the young Link. But what he's will keeping be Keeping the pressure up. 
He's fighting fire with fire, but he just can't get through this last bit of shield that Vin has. Oh no, that was literally going to spell death for Sisto if that bomb had exploded him at the top, so really risky. It just never seems like Vin is ever shaken by any position that he's put into. It seems like his opponent is always in that position. Ben plays Genshin, so those boss fights in Genshin is just the way it is. <laughs> but Ben, thus far, doing the walk up. Look at the walk up shield, man. Not scared of anything. How big it is, too. Oh, buddy might have to be worried about it. The scoop might be coming oh. from the young son, and Sisto takes the game too. That is, it is home, homecoming, shaking it off, going to winners. Sisto with the big 2-0 on Vin, number one PR'd in the Valley. I know the kid wants to give his uh, thanks to Drake for getting him through that. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, all, all blessings to Drake who blesses him. And he is now sitting after taking down Ben in that winner's round Say, You three. need to remember who you talking to when your like bank account get low. <laughs> He's feeling like the goat after that for sure. You're riding high into whatever matchup that you have coming up, knowing that you've taken down one of the best Zeldas to ever do it, especially the best Zelda that's out here in Las Vegas. So yeah. uh, if you're here in the stream with us tuning in, we appreciate the heck out of you. It's your man, you know, Frank Oscar here. Champ. It's the man, no meta Nickin. Megaphone Frankie kicking it in the back. Signature megaphone in yeah, the hand. I, I'm Frankie Sisto. We know Sisto. He might spell my last name Yo, wrong. you got hot chocolate? They, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got it. That's a good deal, man. Dang, you don't got you know, the... We geez. have one word for people who face a Sisto. We call them Sisto, paddle pushers. Why don't if you... you know what that means, then you know where we're Frankie, putting them. Frankie, why don't you call the highlights for us? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Bring it to the highlights. <laughs> megaphone Frankie. You're going to get the megaphone action going right, to... Let's take a look at this. Obviously, we know Las Vegas. It's a very Zelda-heavy region. Relies very heavily on the Phantom. But Sisto using his spacing very well... Knowing how to get past the Phantom, you know, he's proven why Link is always the one who has to save the princess. Wow. She smartly reflects the boomerang. That's deep. Uses that advantage to call out the Phantom. Excellent play by Ben. But still, we see Sisto one step ahead. Mm. So, and here he comes again. Again, great spacing. Knows what he has to do to get, get away. Mm. And, well, the proof is in the pudding, baby. And the, the rest, rest is history. history you know how it goes in Vegas. Megaphone, Frankie, one of the best to ever do it. The wind jammer, the finest one I've ever seen. And, man, thank you for bringing us that recap, bro. You, you're one in a million. Thanks for letting me on the mic. <laughs> there you go, bro.